don't you hate when you're watching one of your favorite movies and think, whoa, that didn't age well? Or when you see a reboot of your childhood fave and think, did we really need this? Honestly, same. same. That's why we started the Nostalgia Podcast. A podcast where we discuss the retelling or continuation of pop culture favorites as seen through a queer and feminist lens. That's Jessica Tercero. And that's Eric Lefebvre. Come join us for our bi-weekly conversations about pop culture reboots centered around things like The patriarchy Systemic racism Harmful stereotypes and overgeneralizations And really just distinguishing when people just need to sit this one out. Listen in on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, or anywhere you get your podcasts. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube. That's Nostalgia, spelled N-O-T-S-T-A-L-G-I-A. Get it? Not Nostalgia. Like nostalgia, but with an extra T, so it's like not Nostalgia. <laughs> follow us for fun, critical conversations about media. And remember, stay cute. And stay critical. Bye! Bye. Kristen, I did notice you did not compliment me on my hair. Uh, I was wondering if that was going to come later or... You look beautiful, man. Oh, my God. Thank you. You honestly you honestly even shouldn't have. Like, uh, I, it means so much. I appreciate that. I, I wanted to make sure I said it, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, no! What? what? Wait, are you eating? Are you eating? No. <laughs> are you eating? Are you eating right now? Okay, what's in your mac and cheese? What is it? Is it ground beef? I feel like you have big ground beef in your mac and cheese vibe. Yeah, big As hamburger helper <laughs> moment. What is it? Loaded fries? There's chicken and fries. Oh, it's nacho fries. But mac and cheese instead of nacho cheese. Wow. And Incredible. chicken. Jake. Just be happy that I'm happy. I'm happy that you're happy. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's not it's not a, it's not like a judgment. It's simply a I'm happy you have joy. Cuz I mean, we just had mac and cheese. Yeah, so we we're twins. Um, this is the Lousy Advice Podcast. My name's Eric. I'm Shelby. And I'm Crispy Jake. Crispy Jake with a full mouth of mac and cheese Frenchie fries. Or is it chicken? Just call me out. Crispy. <laughs> you, but you can hear it. Because you go. <laughs> it's You're just like. It's in our headphones, dude. You're like, and I'm Jake. And I'm call like, well, out. yeah, you can. I mean, you can hear. <laughs> um, this is the Lousy Advice Podcast. <laughs> This is the Lousy Advice Podcast, and this week... Am I up to you? Oh, I was going to introduce you right now. Unless oh. you... I mean, you can jump in if you want to do it. Or is he uh, a yeah. man that needs no introduction? Do you need an introduction or no? Yeah, go ahead and give me one. Why not? Hell yeah. This week, we have the incomparable Tristan Martinez of the band Decent Criminal. Tristan, how wow. the heck are you? I am fantastic. Welcome. Happy to be Welcome to the podcast. Could not be happier to join you on this Friday night. That's the best news to hear. Truly. Friday nights are for lousy, but if you're listening to this live, Monday nights are for lousy. M Monday nights, so. yeah. yeah. Or if you're just at your job and not giving a shit anytime during Monday. Do it during work hours. I said anytime's good to get lousy. Oh, <laughs> that's true. I'm lousy all the time. Um, cool. This week, we are doing the Waves episode. The Van Waves, that is W A V V. Yes, for S C O. Said many songs about the sun. Let's go. There's a lot of songs about the sun. Many songs about the sun. Sun and the Who waves. More songs about the sun. The Beach Boys. Maybe or waves. Uh, it could possibly <laughs> be waves. It might be waves. Yeah, I think waves might take a second, a close second, but. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing, though, <laughs> is a band so notoriously tied to surf culture sings more about waves than the band with the name waves mm. that's math that's science i think and that's growth that's growth the beach boys didn't Casual. actually surf you don't think wave surfs either uh or the beach boys wow i mean we don't say it lightly on the podcast but posers i mean a big bummer <laughs> considering they're what from san diego i learned today oh yeah we learned that today we learned that oh, today yeah. wow can you believe yeah. it that's what their uh, bio says. Although I will say that we know that's they're not that's not always true. Yes. So waves, if you're listening to this, please set the record straight. Yeah. Where are you from? Call in. 
our 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 uh, our um, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> whoa, our people are standing by. Whoop, whoop. Our, our, our. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that kid who's like I I um I and uh yeah. Anyways, waves group Venmo us. Thanks. Became a pirate. I became a pirate. Yes, waves send us money. Send some waves our waves. Group group Venmo. Group Venmo. Um yeah, this is a waves episode. Uh, but waves episode. Whoa, we're going. Already off into the deep end. And I'm going to turn this over <laughs> to Jake. To our moderator, Jake. Thank you, Jake. Yeah. I'm really not sure what I'm doing. Uh, the tea is kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all fucked up on tea. <laughs> this green tea has got me juiced. <laughs> I put two tea bags in it, so I'm rocking and rolling over oh, here. You, 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 you double bagged it. I did double bag it, yeah. <laughs> That's why you're all jacked up. Okay, um, hello and welcome to the Lousy Advice podcast, and welcome to <laughs> Toon Draft, a game in which members of Lousy Advice and guests will competitively collaborate to create artist or genre-centric best of lists. I will be your draft commissioner, Jake, this evening, and creating tonight's list will be Tristan, Shelby, and Eric. All Everybody right. applaud. Thank you very Woo! much. Um, tonight's all topic, as Eric said, is waves, and I would love to go into everybody's history with waves and uh we usually like to start with our guests so tristan what is your history with the band waves um my ex-girlfriend introduced me to waves about 10 years ago so i was about 22 the what 2011 um yeah i fucking couldn't stand nathan Williams' voice at first like king of the beach was out whatever and and then uh yeah she got me into it and i was fucking hooked um, love the fucking entanglement of like oldies and lo-fi shit and like thought King of the Beach was like a great combination of all that shit and then I went got into like a couple earlier albums and yeah that was my introduction to Waves cool alrighty rock and roll Eric my introduction came I think way later I didn't hear about them until their fifth album or five V mm-hmm. as it were V V V V V um and that album i mean it just like from the get-go was a rager for me i just like really resonated with that all like almost every song on that record i was like oh this band fucking rules and then um did that cloud nothing split come out before that album Mm, i'm not sure or after um but i was a big fan of big fan big fan of cloud nothings Mm -hmm. and so when i saw that they did a split record i was like oh well absolutely i'm back on board not that i like jumped off but like that was really it. And then, um, yeah, they've sort of just been on my radar since. Yeah, I only really had an attack on memory, but that was that was a good one. Oh, Cloud Nothing. We sh- oh, my God. Cloud Nothing's is so good. Agreed. Cloud Nothing fucks. Hard. They're so sick. That's my okay. history. Thank you. Shelby? I yield my time. Thanks. <laughs> um, this guy's all jacked up on tea I'm over here. I'm fucked up on tea. <laughs> He's fucked up on tea. <laughs> um, so, okay, give us a break. We've been in meetings, okay? We have been in um, meetings. Let, let it rip. It's all good. Stupid. Okay, <laughs> so I was all introduced to Waves initially when V came out. back in. The, I think it was right when it came out because um, one of my friends was very obsessed, and I didn't really quite get it until I heard that record and was like, okay, yeah, every single song is good. And so I revisited them, and I revisited King of the Beach, and I was like, okay, yeah, I like this band. Um, and then I saw them open for shit, probably Joyce Manor or something live. And after seeing them live, I was like, this band is very underrated. They're very good. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've just kind of been following since. Big time. So we all have credentials, okay? We do. Yeah. We've passed this the cred established. W- one more story to go. Yeah, Jake, what's your history? Oh, um, <laughs> I didn't know this band existed until we were doing this episode. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> Also, so, we should I, let it be what, known that Jake asked in the group chat today what <laughs> band we're drafting. <laughs> Which is why. Because I knew I was hosting. Yeah. So I was like, you know, and 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 what it's going to be is is like you are essentially, uh, the three of you are essentially in charge of introducing me to this band now okay. with this list. Yeah. All right. So uh, I will be listening to the list, kind of like the Beach Boys list. Ricky was very insistent that I – Listen to it and learn about the Beach Boys. We're in this, we're in a similar kind of situation here. So yeah, yeah. I think um, I know Jake well enough to know he's not going to like this band. You don't think so? I don't. <laughs> but I'm interested because if he is, I'll be pleasantly surprised. Maybe. I guess we'll I'm find full out. of surprises. You, you are, are full of surprises. That's yeah. true. Um, that guy facial hair going on. 
Yes, true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I almost wore a Dokken shirt for this, so it's it's accurate. Uh, <laughs> it looks great. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> now, see, I, I got my hair comet naturally. I got facial hair comet naturally. Uh, Eric. Okay, I Jake. To prod. I mean, me I too. Wasn't prodding. It's I wasn't, almost like you know... two of the three of us have great hair. Actually, and then one of us excuse has very me. Hair. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe mine was also very organic. Uh, I'm just, I'm mine just... <laughs> was not prodded. Mine was very natural. Okay. I'm just okay. Um, but let's get uh, to the rules for the uninitiated. Ooh. So I will be asking everybody trivia questions pertaining to tonight's topic, and the person who gets it first will get to pick their positions for this draft and so on. One person will be drafting into positions 11, 10, 6, and 3, which is the lowest placement, but you get four picks. And you get the often coveted, rarely used veto override in which you can uh, cancel out a veto that's played on a choice that is not your own. I will explain vetoes later. The second choice is 9, 8, 5, and 2, which is uh, still four choices, but it's smack dab in the middle of the list there. Prime placement, if you will. And then the third choice is the number 7, 4, and 1, which is only three choices, the least amount, but... You get to lay forth the number one spot, which is just uh, it's a lot of pressure, but it's a lot of glory. Yeah. Uh, each yeah. player will also be receiving a veto, which they can use to knock a, uh, the song choice from its current placement on the list, either because you don't think it belongs on the list or believe it belongs higher up. <laughs> Whatever the case, it can no longer be replayed in that same spot and the drafter must choose another song. You can roll over a veto into your next game. Oh, boy. But only one. <laughs> so if you ever want to return, Tristan, if you save that veto, you can have it next time. If we remember. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which or, we will. Or if and when you come back and you lie and say that you did have one, we'll believe you. Yeah, we'll that's probably true. probably go, yeah, sure. 100%. <laughs> you probably do. And that's yeah, great. Absolutely. So we, we have to earn our placement. What's going on? Yes. Yes. And so um, I'm going to get into the trivia. There are two rules regarding the trivia. There is the Alex Trebek memorial rule in which uh, I must finish the question before anyone can answer. And there is the Lord Bullington rule, which uh, each person is only allotted one incorrect answer before everybody else answers. You know what? I just want to say for the record, you're better at reading these than I am. <laughs> yeah. uh, and there's a level of me that hates it, but I'm also like <laughs> kind of proud of you. So it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For everybody. Um, My so, shit's chaos. Same. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Jake made this game up out of his big, giant, wrinkly brain. And he wrote so the script. So that's why he's so good at it. And he yeah, wrote I did the write the script. Yeah. And I improv off the script. That's not what's written down at all. And that's why it's Is the smart. issue. Oh, uh, yeah. Is there any rules questions? I don't think so. Let's, let's get going. Let's okay. rage. So. Let's rage. Question number one. Waves has an album called V. <laughs> you fucking, you fucking knew it. it. Absolutely. It. Every time. There was a uh, television miniseries in 1983 also called V that featured a uh, famed actor that starred in A Nightmare on Elm Street as an alien. <laughs> what is the name of that actor? Is he what? is he relatively famous now? No. Oh. I mean... Does he have brown hair? Um, I should say, you know what? This is going to be a hint. He's I... in every Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Oh, he, so he plays Freddy? Yes. <laughs> I know it's David. I win. Um, <laughs> can you guess who? I'm sorry. I uh, have no clue. I don't know who plays Freddy. Yeah, I also don't know. Good job, Jake. Thanks. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's another stumper. You, you um, dumped us. It's Robert England is his name. Oh, the I've heard great Robert. England. I've heard that name before. Okay, so I think I kind of knew this in my head, and this is really stupid. I was like, for some reason, Robert California sits in my head, and I'm like, that's <laughs> that's stupid. That's from The Office. There, um, that's really dumb. The only, so the only reason I know is because he was that. on an episode of Mad TV, and they ca and he was like a guest star, and they were like, oh, Robert England from V, right? Because they kept saying that instead of from A Nightmare on Elm Street. That was the whole joke of the whole oh. thing. Oh. So next question, question number two. Yeah. On their first album, they have a song called Beach Goth. Uh-huh. There is a Portlandia sketch that is called Beach Goth that features a prominent 
goth musician as the guest star. Yes. Let, Who? Which musician is that? Glenn Danzig. Hundred percent. That's correct. That's Damn. correct. This is Gosh. the first time a guest has done better than us. I'm pissed. You got it. <laughs> Good job, you Christine. slammed us. Which uh, watch. which which position would you like? Ooh, I mean, sheesh. I guess I'll take the top one if I, you know, might as well take it, right? You want seven, four, and one? Yeah, give me seven, four, and one. Okay. Wow. Ooh. That's this a bold has move. not happened often. Spicy. I know usually one of us gets it. Yeah, because we just guess stupid things and get our answers right. Yeah. Way to just come on our podcast and stomp us. You guys are one of the most smiley bands. And uh Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's just all Good joy. Job, like we said earlier, it's all joy. Vibing yeah. on joy. We still like our band because we've only played two shows. Yeah. I mean <laughs> real. technically as a band, we've only played two shows ever. So, so cool. Kind of, I was kinda of referring to like sad girls too, but you know. Oh, That's yeah, true. we're still very smiley. Yeah. yeah. It's because we as a collective, you and me as a team, smiley. Smiley. Oh. It's question number three. This Whoa. is a doozy. It's me versus you. Um, I'm going to go. You're going to what? It. I'm going to win. <laughs> they also have an album, as you guys referenced, called King of the Beach. King of the Beach is one of my favorite songs by the band Sack, which is a Ramones core band from Wyoming. The singer of that band also features in another prominent Ramones core band. What other band does he sing in? I'm going to guess. And actually, you know what? There are two answers. Shelby. There are two correct answers. Shelby? Is it the Lollingtons? That is correct. Yeah. That is one of the two correct answers. I always get something off of a guess. and Teenage Bottle Rocket were the two correct answers. Oh, wow. Nice one. Yeah. Solid. Thank you. I only wonder which member it is. Uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Cool, cool. Um, then I would like 11, 10, 6, and 3. Okay. So I'm 95 too? Yeah. <gasps> because I am sensitive, and I'm not, but I get vetoed every episode, so the lower amount of picks that I have, like the lower down on the list, usually the easier it is on my ego. But I like to be chaotic, yeah. so usually I'll pick number one. Yeah. Yeah. We love chaos. Whoa, I was going to burp. Whoa. Hold on. I'm going to just do it. I don't care. We love chaos on the podcast. That's going to be That's a nice. That's so we end up with Adam Sandler as number one on the Christmas song. I mean, <laughs> what a fucking mess that is. You know is. what? Yeah. You could have had Casey Musgraves and we, you vetoed me. You we, vetoed watched, me. we watched Eight Crazy Nights like a and few weeks later. And it was actually later, really and it rough. was not good. It was actually very rough. <laughs> I'd never. Tristan, have you seen Eight Crazy Nights? <laughs> do you love that movie? Have I seen it? I've seen it a hell of a time. Do you love it? Dude, I'm a, I'm oh, a okay. You're an Adam Standler. <laughs> so I picked so, one of the songs yeah, for ahead. our Christmas list as the number one spot because someone vetoed me. Uh, <laughs> it was it was it was the that was long ago song. Yeah, and uh, that it was number one on our Christmas songs list. <laughs> See, I'm canonically not a Standler. I'm not a big fan. So we yeah. watched it, and it was my first time watching it, and I was like, oh, <laughs> this is a lot. Yeah, dude. I grew up. Uh, probably seen happy gilmore like a thousand times in my life yeah so that that era of sandler for me is fucking gold classic yeah. so let's get on with the draft here Woo! it's my turn so many turns All for right. me kicking it off is going to be shelby's pick at number 11, wait, wait, Shelby. So are we all allowed one veto? Is that what's going on here? Yep. Yes. Everybody so gets if a veto. I pick a song and you're like, that's stupid, I veto it. Then well, I it get to be pick higher. a different song. Yeah. I think it should be higher up too. You can veto it. Gotcha. To reply it. Okay, I'm just gonna go with what my actual list is since I don't have to strategize. Oh. Um, so off of King of the Beach, my number eleven was Idiot. Ooh. Yeah, I don't have a lot of like sentimental reason behind these songs. I just really think that they're fun, and that song is such a little jammer that I feel yeah. like it deserves to be on this list. Are Are we allowed to like? Because it's also on my list. Am I allowed to tell you what part it is or what spot it's got? You certainly can. Yeah, unless you're like wanting to veto me to make it higher up. No, I think that's tight. Uh, it's number nine on my list. So, yeah. Right. Nice work. What is your, uh, what is everybody's feeling on that? Tristan, what's your feeling on uh, that song? I think that's an accurate replacement. It's just a fun, just a fun tune. Yeah, that song uh, canonically rips. Um, right. It's just, it's it's very, like, I mean, I feel like that record was very vibey yeah. and a little bit, like, I don't, like, you had explained it earlier, it was, like, this balancing or, like, mending of, like, 
oldies with like this like reverb heavy like kind of noisy beach punk shit right it's also like almost like like a clean grunge type of vibe yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and that song has very much those like like kind of moody dips and highs it's not just like a radioactivity uh, style like yeah I yeah. had a hard time clinging to this record at a first listen. This was something that I went back to after really liking V and really liking them live and seeing them and was like, you know, I'm going to try that record again. And, and it was I was right to do so because well, it stood out a lot the second time and kind of stuck with me. What, what about it? Did you, uh, did you not like it first? I don't know if it was just I was at a different place musically, um, like what I was listening to at that time in my life. Um because at that point, I was still listening to just, like, a lot of more poppy music. And so they, they do have a lot of pop in there. But I don't know. Something about it just didn't grab me the way. Maybe it was because it doesn't have a ton of songs that are, like, super catchy, you know? And that's what gets me. How do you feel about the the laugh track in the beginning of the song? It's it go- I feel fine about it. it it's, it's very long. <laughs> yeah, it's, I feel fine about it, though. There's something about it. I always thought it just felt very snotty in, in some ways that's oh yeah i mean i feel like that's the whole like a lot of waves for me whenever i listen to waves there is a general snottiness to them oh yeah kind of just like a disregard for like i don't fucking care here's a cool song and you're like yeah cool yeah i think it was a make or break for like you're either into it or you're not you know yeah yeah i don't know over the years especially in that point in of time um because at that point, I wasn't playing in a band or anything. And this is like a record where I started writing songs and I started kind of diff- changing the way that I viewed music and listened to music. It wasn't just for me anymore. I was looking at the bigger picture. And I think that it was this that record was orchestrated beautifully. So we're fine with locking in Idiot at number 11. Yeah, that's yeah. fine with me. So this is a yep. time where we find out if Let I'm allowed f- to do this. <laughs> Fucking introduce this. I'm sorry. I'm just excited. I never. Oh, get Shelby's these... just hosting this one. Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> yeah, Jake, you can go finish your nacho fries. No, Jake, come back. Um, Eric, rewind the track. We're just gonna we're, pretend we're, this we're, didn't we're, happen. We're, we're, we're. The train's chugging along, and it's the Shelby Express, and we're here at number ten. That was so much Shelby. better. <laughs> that was so much better than what I did. So I'm gonna do a thing. Because I don't know if it counts or if I'm allowed to, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, So in this spot, I chose Nothing Hurts. And it's Waves and Cloud Nothings. And I'm going to need the people to decide whether or not I'm allowed to play this song there. Oh, boy. I personally am comfortable with it. Because I do. It's like not one of those that it's like a feature. It is a full ass double album. Every song is credited to both groups. Right. Because um, because of that reason, I'm gonna say it's technically a part of the Waves catalog, and therefore fair game. Tristan, yeah, I, th- I thought about that too. It's definitely fair to be in there, but I don't think it belongs in the top ten. Ooh. 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 Okay. We have some drama on seat ten. Every time. It's well, the me. question is: is do you feel do you feel strong enough to veto it? Is the real question. Yeah. Oof. Um. Unless, unless you do, uh, you know, here's the thing is we can commissioner override it if we think it's it, it's not it doesn't qualify. But so, if it does qualify, then it's got to either be vetoed or stay. Then maybe this is a decision for you, Jake. I okay. That's true. That's true. If, yeah. if what is a, if it's a song done by like a it's like a dual written album. It's like half ways, half cloud, nothing's the count. All songs I mean, if, are both bands technically. Hmm, it's quite the argument. Technically, fifty-fifty input. Um, what is maybe a little bit, yeah. Well, because some of the songs are very much led by one of the vocalists versus the other, so exactly. you could you could argue that the ones where the Cloud Nothing singer is singing are Cloud Nothing songs versus songs where the Wave singer is singing their Wave I songs. I think that's a fair assessment. Although what you, just said. you think <laughs> that, yeah, I think that's fair. What so you just I'm going to go ahead and hang myself up to dry. I'm going to choose something else because I knew that that was a little bit sketchy, okay. but I was just kind of testing the waters yeah. to see what would be allowed of me. And I can tell that we're all uncomfortable. Because so. it's, it's not a, uh, <laughs> what's that? Um, it's Christmas and I fucking miss you scenario where it's, it's like, Pup and Charlie it's Bliss and it's all trading one... back and forth. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah no, it's, it's not, not, it's not that type of scenario. No, no, I'm, it's not like a duet or anything. Okay. I hope yeah. you don't get bullied out of that one, Shelby. No, you're, you're fine. 
But uh, but to be fair, Tristan, this this is the house of bullying. You're yeah. all, this is like this is the, fair game. If you're if you want to okay bully, bully this is a go bully go moment <laughs> for you. Okay, fine. We're moving on then. Um, then I guess in that place. I'm going to place Daisy from You're Welcome. Ooh. Which I feel like is kind of a basic pick, but I think it should be on the list. And I think that this is low enough to where it doesn't hurt anybody. It doesn't hurt anyone, for sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Tristan, I love your loaded comments. I... They're so good. You guys, are, you guys are taking my tone the wrong way, man. No. Oh no, I love it. I'm so I'm on board. I'm here for I'll it. have you know that roughly sixty percent of the time of me being on this podcast is me wanting to feel chaos. So it really <laughs> helps fuel my fire. Yeah. Yeah. We really developed this platform for chaos is what yeah. why we're here. Are you deciding right now if you're gonna veto me? Eric? No, I'm just I need reminding of the Song? vibes of the albums because I remember like I went through your welcome and I was not like it wasn't it for me. Does it, that make sense? It that does make sense. Yes. Um, yeah. but Daisy's cool. Of of, it... of the songs on that record, that was one that I enjoyed. No, sing it for us. Let me here. Let me. Looks put like it on. it's an opening let's track. Do it. Let's do it. The opening track. I can track. play it. Oh, I can it play it over. Now. I can play it over my soundboard too. Okay. I'm... Huh? Wait, wait, I couldn't hear you. Wait, sorry, I couldn't hear you either. The waves were too loud. <laughs> nice one. Uh, I just said I, I remember that one now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. cool. Do you like it? Do you enjoy it? Do you take it back? Do you yeah. take back your tone, what your, Tristan? What are your feelings on it? This question. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't think it's one of the stronger ones, but I think the lyrics are a little cheese, if I'm really speaking my mind here. <laughs> did you like this? Did you like this record? Um, I uh, <laughs> I thought it was better than V. Ooh, Whoa, wow. you don't like V? We're in uh, for a wild ride. Pretty, it just feels um, a bit subdued and like, which is tight. Like that song Tarantula, I like a lot. Yeah. Um, but my favorite song off Your Welcome is I Love You. I think that's fucking That's a good sweet. song too. Yeah. I am going to make one thing incredibly clear is that I don't listen to Waves for the lyrics. And nine out of ten times when I'm listening to Waves, That's I'm wild. not listening to this. I know, because normally I'm such a sucker for lyrics, but I listen to them for vibes. Because I know, like me, you're a lyric hound, so I that's am, wild. I am, say. typically, yeah. But there are certain bands that I can't do that with, otherwise it'll ruin it for me. <laughs> I think some bands, you know, some bands just do their thing and it's all good. But I definitely, I like lyrics and, uh, I don't know, but there's a ton of songs like by Waves that are just ridiculous shit about smoking weed or goth this goth that but i think you're tight so yeah. <laughs> cool. it all it all depends man yeah so we need to make a decision now on my choice i'm i'm cool with daisy i'm cool with leaving are it you here gonna veto me? are we cool i'm with not gonna veto it 10. no it's good okay cool i'm cool okay with cool let's leave it at 10 then daisy 10 which means that we're we're we hit the train station <laughs> and and we're we're making a connecting train to the next one <laughs> Ding dong ding, conductor. I'd like to get and on. Eric please. is the conductor of that train. I'd like to. Oh, I was gonna play passenger. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, you, you're the conductor. You're oh. taking us on the on the journey. Oh, that makes more sense in this yeah. allegory of uh, trains. I'm yes. glad we were yeah. able to work that out. Fantastic. Okay, yeah. my pick. I'm, I'm number I'm nine. Uh, I'm gonna pick a song that I really like off of V that you had just mentioned, and that is Tarantula. Oh yeah. I'm putting that at number nine. I think originally it was a little bit higher on my list, but since we had ruled out the uh Cloud Nothings moment, I had to rearrange a little bit. And that's where Tarantula lies on my list. Uh sure. I think it's great. The uh every morning toxic way. It's just like catchy and riffy and just like if you don't get your way. Again, lyrically yeah. I just I don't really care about the song, but just from a from like a like a fun, joyous punk avenue, I'm really into it. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, I think it's sort of. Um, I think if you've ever been in like a really long relationship, it's just like you know reaching those points of like those types of lyrics. It's like I think it's relatable and yeah, you know. And uh, so that's what I enjoy about that song. I think it's it's like a nice little in depth spot of like that type of point in a loving relationship. You know. Yeah. 
Do you like the song? I love that song. It's I'm, I'm going to be hard pressed to veto something off of that record. I'm I think. S- same. And I'm so. Which in- is concerning because we have the bulk of the picks. I know. And I heard Tristan doesn't like it. I know. I did. That's the vibe that I'm getting. <laughs> I, I didn't say I didn't like you. I'm we're sidebarring here, Tristan. We're sidebarring. Yeah, this is we're the we're the celebrity deathmatch hosts. Do you watching. think you're gonna get vetoed, or do you uh, think sidebar, I'm gonna get vetoed? Sidebar. Sidebar. <laughs> do you think I'm gonna get vetoed? I don't know. Do you think I'm gonna get vetoed? I think I'm gonna get vetoed. I think we might. Oh, we well, can't, no, we, we can't. can't. Only one of us will get vetoed. I mean, we could. Who's it gonna be? I'm okay. excited. That okay. Was a happen. lot. Much ado about I'm, nothing just I'm now. Sorry. So into it though. Uh, tarantula. That's my vibe. Sick. Yeah, and it seems like we're cool with leaving that there. Yeah. At number yeah. nine. Sounds good. It's a nine vibe. It's a nine vibe. It's a nine vibe. Like vi- that movie with Elijah Wood. The nine <laughs> vibe is fine. Don't know it. <laughs> you say so many things. It was that an I animated don't know. movie. It's fine. Oh. Um. I just watched Everything Is Illuminated recently. It's it's good. It was good. It's it got was the guy direct- from Gogo Go Bordello in it. Yes, it does. And it's directed by uh, one of the hottest men on the planet, Ooh. Liev Schreiber. Kurt Russell? <laughs> no. Oh. I just have a big effect crush on Liev Schreiber. I think he's uh, a lot. You didn't say Kurt Russell or Ryan Gosling, so you're wrong. <laughs> okay. Um, Ryan Gosling. We're going to need to tone that yeah, back. Let's get over what it. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. You have bad taste. It's <laughs> fine. Uh, <laughs> number eight, Eric. <laughs> oh, what? What do you want from me? I want your number eight pick. Okay, it's way too much off of V. What was what what? Way too much. You hate it? Do you hate it, Tristan? Dude, I don't hate it. I just think it's funny. You guys are gonna think I'm gonna hate on everything now. I mean, yeah. I'm ready for it. I've braced myself for impact. But it's normal because Tristan, you really have changed this podcast dynamic because normally it's our guests being worried that we're gonna bully them. And now now yeah. we're we're And the... we get all the trivia right. Yeah. Which <laughs> at this point I do love the way that the tables have turned. Yeah. It is a really nice uh moment for us, for sure. Sure. Was that way too much for you? Uh no, man. Um, that's a it's a cool song. <laughs> you think that Lee Schreiber is hot? I do. Uh, Unfortunately. Where? Oh no. Okay, we'll have this conversation later. He's Sorry, I gorgeous. had to Google it. Cool. Um, it's not it's not one of your jams, but you're okay with it. Yeah, that's chill. Uh, Shelby, how do you feel about it? I am gonna be hard pressed to veto anything on this record. That is not something that made my list. It's one of my... Oh, sorry. Stop looking I, at my I'm, list. I don't, I'm what sorry. the fuck? I'm sorry. Um, it's not one of my favorites off of that record, but I don't think... Oh, my God. Should I be chaotic and veto it for fun? Otherwise, if, we might not get this moment. If you want to... I'm not going to do it. If you want to <laughs> go there, I'm no, fine. No, I don't. I'm not going to do it. I like that song. I'll okay. leave it. Because I, I, I could pick a song from a different album. No. Leave your, I could go with your heart. If you wanted me to, I could do it. Is what I'm saying. Are you daring me to veto you? No, I'm not. Do what you need to do. <laughs> no, I really need to save my my ex. I really don't know if I want to veto this episode because the next episode is going to be really fun and cute, and you guys are going to die. But I would like vetoes for it. Okay, perfect. Then I'm cool with it. What's the next? I, episode? I don't know what it is. It's the one with just the three of us. You're the one that came up with oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was my idea. Huh? But it's, I, for, it's, I forget it's the songs genre. of the early 2000s. Oh, that's right. Uh, yes, yeah. songs from 2001. From 2001 specifically. Fuck. Sorry. I'm very excited about that. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. That's going to be a rager. Okay. <laughs> Next week on Lousy Advice. Um, cool. Way too much. So, yeah. Everybody's going to leave it. No vetoes. No vetoes for me. No vetoes. Everything's this, copacetic so this far. This conversation's getting boring. It's a good song. Until <laughs> I'm on the ground. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we're getting off the train. Why? To- because we're going to take a quick little, because it's it's only a single pick. You get it? We're going to take a quick little Greyhound oh. jaunt. You Got know it. how you do on, like, on trains with like, an Amtrak train? And it's yeah. like, oh, you get on the bus, and then you oh, go yeah. here, you go there. Uh, for Tristan's first pick, the first of three at number seven. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Right. Uh, we're going right now? Yes. It's your turn. All right. I'm going to go. Uh, uh, this song is called Weed Demon. It's off the second waves record. <laughs> that's where I'm going. Truly, I don't know that song. You just, that's not a, you just that's got not my ass for fire. the lyrics. You just Sometimes. got my ass for the lyrics, Tristan. What's that? You just got my ass for the lyrics. <laughs> yeah. Um sure that's not a mean gene song. <laughs> it sounds like a mean gene song. <laughs> oh, Jake is live listening to everything we pick right now.
a nice little melancholy little song. What's what's your um, what's what's the vibe for picking it? Um, I think you know it's. I just feel like when you get into a band, like there's some songs that just like, you know, when you first get into them, there's just certain songs that stick with you. And yeah, this is like one of my introduction songs. I feel like so one of the first ones I was really into. And um, yeah, yeah, the first couple records are just so fucking lo-fi, and there's something really beautiful I think about it, and it's cool. So I think I like I love the chords and I love the the progression of that song. I just think it's really cool. Yeah, totally. Everybody else. I'm gonna leave What's it. When someone tells me something like a, ex- with the exception of Jake, because sometimes I just can't accept his answers. But if someone <laughs> gives me a heartfelt <laughs> okay. like moment, like you just did, yeah. I'm definitely gonna leave it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm like, always is, able to be swayed. Waves is kind of like that for me, anyways. Like it was just like that period of my life. I listened to a lot of waves, so right. it's like, yeah. I get it. Yeah, yeah I we do- all have songs we come back to. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. And especially even if they're not necessarily like at that point in your life, it's a band that you're like, oh, I don't listen to them anymore. But if you ever listen to that album that really hit when you were seventeen, it's like, oh, well, I can't not yeah. love this. Right, right. Um, <laughs> this song, yeah, for the same reason, I I'm not gonna veto it because if you have a good reason behind it, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm a sucker. To. I'm a sucker for yeah. narrative and for uh, what's the uh, not. Never mind. I can't think of the word. Anyways, I'm <laughs> leaving it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's a. It for me, it's not a rager, based on my uh, 10, 15 second moment with <clears throat> it. Yeah. But uh, this is a like, sort of bedroom tune. Feels like it is yeah. a bedroom tune. Yeah. I will say though, that is a song that. I could smoke weed too. Yeah. Great song title. A weed demon. Yeah. Oh. Just, uh, the melancholy sort of the, the sadness to it kind of resonated with like where, where I was at or what I was doing. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go back and listen to that song harder. Not there's, now, there's, but at some point. First couple records that are really cool for sure. Yeah. I do. It, it is very funny. The names of these songs on those first two. I mean, generally all over the place, the song names are silly, but like it's some real silly song titles. Yes. Yeah, we love a. Si- well, I'm gonna burp again. Hold on, we love a silly moment. That tea. It's that tea. Jack Spawn tea over here. That tea is <laughs> effing up my s. Okay. Okay. So uh, I'm cool with number it. six. Here? Uh, yeah. Are, 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 are we gonna leave it? <laughs> no vetoes being thrown around. No vetoes. No vetoes. Seems cool with the vibe with yes. the weed demon vibes. <laughs> I'm cool with the weed demon vibes. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's move on to number six, Shelby. Shall Eric, be. this is for you. you. <gasps> Aww. What is it? Our internet sucks. <gasps> um, I was going to play the, the beginning of it, but um, again, from <sighs> King of the Beach, I chose Green Eyes. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, is he going <laughs> to let me do it now? We, we, we almost have like harmonizing ooh there. Yeah, Did you that like that? Good, that we was almost a moment what? for sure. Ooh. Are we starting? Yeah, everybody ooh at the same time. Are we all starting I, a band? Is that wild? Yeah. <laughs> Eric went like an octave above me there. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'll round out. I'll round out up top. If you round out down below, we're going to be great. We're going to have a real nice uh, <laughs> harmony. I'm always pleasantly surprised during like these one-off episodes that may- like perhaps maybe I wouldn't have picked Waves like as like, a, as oh, a we're throwing topic. ideas of bands out here. But like, I'm always pleasantly surprised when we do these. And then yeah. there's some sort of synergy that I never would have known about otherwise. Can you believe it? Yeah. That's the power of discovery. That is. <clears throat> And that's growth. And that's growth. And that's growth. At the end of the day, that is growth. It is. So, growth. what is what is the um, the vibe for Green Eyes, everybody? How's everybody feeling? I'm feeling good about Green Eyes. It's I a really sweet song. It's a very sweet song. I think King of the Beach rips. I think it's a cool record. I think it's got a lot of really cool vibes in it. I mean, one of my next picks is off this album too. So, like, oh. it's kind of a hitter. Green Eyes is a good song. I like Green Eyes. Heck yeah. I didn't pick it for my list, but. It's a it's a cool song. It was on my list too. Was it? Yeah. I feel so validated. Look at that. Fuck yeah. Wait. Oh, I didn't even write that down for my pre list. <gasps> I'm a liar. You... I'm on this podcast fucking lying, lying. to everybody. I am fake. <laughs> fake. Fake. You're fake. Fan. Roughly seventy five percent of my entire life revolves around you. I'm gonna need you to take that back. That's a that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> roughly 75 percent of my life i mean life. that's true you know i'm not fake i'm a performer but i'm not fake that's true 
Hey. You got me there. All right. On on a on a soul level, I'm good to go. On a perform on a performative day to day, you never know. We will yes and until our eyeballs fall. Exactly. Out. That is exactly right. What I appreciate about you, Eric, is uh, you're always yourself, and I think that's really cool when people have that quality. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. This is the Eric appreciation episode. Honestly, I love <laughs> it. First my hair, then my soul. Like, God, wow. compliment me on my shoes, and it's a done deal. <laughs> I love you know what I mean? Shoes. Oh, I'm okay. This is actually like really. I did order a pair of shoes. I'm gonna actually show you on the screen real quick because they're fucking sick. What kind of shoes you get? They're Fila's. Those are like Nickelodeon looking to me, like Nickelodeon oh. 1990s. Yeah, those are like uh, Legend of the Hidden Temple. Vibes. Yes, aren't they a fucking vibe? Anyways, just- for the people at home listening, these are Fila's. I don't know what they're called, but they look like Nickelodeon ass Global Guts shoes, and I'm really into them. Global Guts is a better, yeah, that's a good one. No, but Hidden Temple works too. Either way, you need these shoes to get caught by the scary guy behind the door. Yeah. You ever, um, watch, guard. Uh, yeah. You ever watch that show, The Fucking Floor is Lava? Of oh, course. I did. <laughs> I wanted to go on it real bad. Because some, some of those contestants, I'm like, how? No. You fell in on purpose. <laughs> so fucking ridiculous. It is. It would be fun. You say that, but I feel attacked because I feel like at a certain point I would have fallen in on purpose because I was cracking under pressure. Oh, maybe. I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't mean to call you out. No, that's okay. Pre-show. This is, we're obviously having therapy session right now. It is so. true. Yeah. We're in therapy here. I will say. I always wonder where they go, you know? Yeah. <laughs> they get dragged under by the water demon. Where did they go? Never mind. Let's keep moving. Oh, they just get placed at the exit. No. I'm just I'm thinking. Too I don't much know. Now. <laughs> okay. I'm sure they're taken care of. Yeah, they're they're fine. Where are they now? They they do a cutaway, so it's not like they disappear. They just come out and then they make it look like they drowned. Wow. Because yeah. you know we love drowning. We do. Yeah, naturally. In the yeah. waves. Speaking of. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Around. So we're we're uh, past the halfway point here. I'm gonna go over the list. So far, at eleven we have idiot. At ten we have Daisy. At nine we have tarantula. At eight we have way too much. At seven we have weed demon. And at six we have green eyes. Lovely. So um, I'm gonna try something new this episode. I'm just gonna spring this on everybody because I like doing that. I like doing things like that. We're in the middle of the list. Uh, Tristan, do you have anything you would like to plug in the middle of the show so that people don't skip it at the very end? of the show oh, plug it in right here yeah we'll plug it at the end yeah too, do you have anything let's you want to promote in the middle here J- just choose a song to th- throw in there no no no, no, no. I, tell I us mean, about your uh, band personally oh uh, <laughs> yes a plug not not plugging a uh, song in uh, no. uh i mean yeah i guess so my band's put on an ep next friday <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh yeah let's talk about that we're yeah. pretty, only three songs but we're pretty stoked to get them out what do you guys think? Have you guys what? heard this? Yeah. No, the, um, I, I, I have Shelby's heard all of them, them because Kendra is letting me review it for bad copy. So shocker. Oh. Um, but the, a review? Yeah, I'm writing a review of it. So far, I mean, you better be careful about what you veto, buddy. Because you you've put out two of the songs so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we put out a song called Bizarre and a song called Reek. Yeah, I I listened to Bizarre when it came out because that was a video of people drinking, right? Mm, yeah, the one we're all cheersing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That song's a rager. Thanks, dude. I'm vibing. Uh, Are you putting this out digitally? Will it be pressed? Can we grab it anywhere? It is pressed. Um, it'll be on seven inch vinyl. Um, yeah, so you can get that through Sell the Hard Records. Um, yeah, we recorded these songs last February, and then we had to like mix them, like pandemic over our phones with with scott goodrich and yeah i mean we, doing anything over the internet for the most part as far as like demoing or writing an album is a wild time i don't know how you guys are too but we fucking we'll be like all right turn this down turn this up all right all right <laughs> <laughs> like trip the fuck out about everything so right yeah i feel like that has big lightweight energy actually <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> lightweight uh, almost broke up mixing our debut record because we were arguing so much that's how that's how much of a nightmare it is. <laughs> yeah, you can get that way. I'm starting to loosen up a little bit. So yeah, totally. Hell yeah. Cool, Jake. What a great idea. Good job. Yeah, thank you for doing. Yeah, because I know I know that some people, if they just tune out at the end, it could be missed. And if you do that, yeah, 
Shame on you. Asshole. Yeah. This is yeah, the whole you're thing. An asshole. We're a goddamn delight. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I only have one pick left. Ooh. You do only have one pick left. Um, but uh firstly, getting back in the list, it's Eric's pick. Hi, what's up? I'm picking post acid for this nice. spot. I think that that song, that song's my favorite song off of King of the Beach. I think it's so cool. It's got that real gritty, like lo-fi shit, but then like a real fun, happy chorus. Um, it's just cool. It's like a song I've never seen Waves live, but if I saw this live, people would go go wild for it. I'm sure. <laughs> right. That's a cool song. It's a cool song. It's a very cool. Song. It's great. Oh, have you ever seen the video? No, I haven't. No. Cool video too. <laughs> what, what's in the video? Uh, it's like an alien coming down and shit. It's like skateboarding. Yeah, you got it. Hell yeah. <laughs> frame by frame now, please. <laughs> yeah, you need to give us the full synopsis, please. Um, do I, you, I, do I you, haven't seen it for a while, but I remember it was pretty cool. Do you like this song? Oh yeah, great song. All right, getting up into the nitty gritty. We're aligning here. It seems like everybody's feeling good about Post Acid of Five. Yeah. Yeah. I am. It should be up there for sure. Right? Everybody's it's one, vibing it's with one it. of the classics. Yeah. Classic. Classic. It deserves to be on this list. It does. Yeah. It sure. does. I wouldn't have been the one to put it there, but it does deserve to be here. So thank you thank for you. allowing me the opportunity. You're so welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. The opposite of a veto. <laughs> an endorsement? <Yeah. gasps> what if we started <laughs> adding those? <gasps> oh, an endorsement power up. An endorsement. What would that do? Hold on. Hold on. Hypothetically, if we were to add something like that, what would an endorsement do to a song as opposed to a veto? It goes on the list twice. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's too much. Um, way too much, maybe. We we'll we'll brainstorm. We don't need to yeah, we'll 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 brainstorm. We don't need a writer's in, room in now. The, in no. the brain trust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll get a we'll get a nice uh we'll get a <laughs> I don't even know. Um cool. Yeah. Post acid is my uh yeah. pick <laughs> and totally. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> okay. Hey. So we lock it in. God. And then we're going you guys to guys ever had green to... tea? <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, yeah. like, I watched you make this green tea, and I watched he literally. Okay, I'm telling a story. Before we <laughs> got onto the pod tonight, he had the green tea sitting on our table, and we're all standing around chatting. And I feel like he, he literally he was like, I feel like I need more, like I need caffeine. And he's like, Well, well I have this tea, and it has caffeine in it, but I need caffeine. Because to me, it's the thing is, I made it with the intention of like, Oh, this is my caffeine for the podcast perfect but then as i'm drinking it i was like i should get a coffee and i don't know why i did that because i don't think the tea was satiating whatever that was for me and then mm -hmm. i was like maybe i should just get like a diet pepsi or something just to like up it up up the caffeine level um but i'm happy i didn't you know but look it kicked in it kicked in and i'm yeah. vibing. i'm just shocked because you really were kind of like talking some shit on that tea i was and honestly you know what i'm gonna go on record and say it i'm sorry to the green tea community to green to big big tea to, I'm to sorry. Big green tea. Big green tea. Big green tea. Uh, yeah. I'm so sorry for my doubt and uh, for my unwillingness uh, to participate in your product and my ignorance. I'll say it. I'll be brave. My yeah. ignorance. I would kill to watch you give a speech that's, one day. That's brave. <laughs> I, heard, uh, I heard there's green tea Kit Kats. Have you ever heard that before? <gasps> They're so yeah, good. I've, seen them. I've never had them. They're so good. Okay, so off topic. I almost got margarita otter pops today because they were selling them at bevmo <gasps> they're like frozen little tubes like an otter pop but it's like a margarita wow oh wasted wasted away again it's I only see. like seven percent so it's kind of like a like a white claw or something yeah, yeah. but that's yeah. still that's still booze but you're eating it. yeah. but you're eating it yeah and how many uh, of those can you get down in like a span of like me. an hour on a hot day by the freezes, pool so <laughs> That doesn't surprise Is me. Is that true? <laughs> yes, that's a fact. Why? We've, we've gone over this before. All the gas station hot dogs ruined it. All right. Oh, yeah. it might be, yeah. yeah. All my gas station hot dogs have ruined, ruined my... Um, Abilities. My Chili dogs. entire life. <laughs> um, so, number four. Tristan. Uh, All right. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Baby Say Goodbye. Ooh. Oh. Why, this, why this song? Uh, it's also just one of my favorites. It's just when that fucking snare kicks in, just does whatever. It's so fucking good. Yeah, just a great song. I had to look at where it lies on that record because I was like, in it's, my it's head, a... couldn't put it together. That's a good song. It is. I yeah. also think I'm going to be hard-pressed to veto anything on this record. 
there's two records by them that are it for me. Yeah, that's true. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good about it. No, I mean, I'm okay. To be fully honest, I'm questioning it only for the drama. Cause like, okay, I agree with you. It's a good song and I think it should be on we this also list. Say we love a final song on a record. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, canonically we love a final song and yeah. this is a great yeah. one. Yeah. However, I want to be dramatic <laughs> and messy. Oh my What's God. Up? I want to be dramatic and messy. Give it to me. Uh, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> <gasps> Come on. You really you built just, that moment. You can't just like act like you're to put the pedal to the metal. Okay, it's vetoed. Just, like, Whoa. Oh. Okay. Whoa. I'm so sorry. Whoa. I'm sorry. Whoa. I'm sorry. It... It's vetoed. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Did you make that song? That's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, I made that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm so sorry. I can't wait to veto you, man. Yeah, I mean, okay, to be fully fair, though, I have the number two pick, and my pick, you are probably going to want to, anyways. Ooh, can't wait. Uh, but, you know, say la vie. <laughs> and so, uh, Tristan, I'm going to need a replacement pick for number four. Oh, I have to pick it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um I'm gonna go uh how about Take on the World? I like that song. Do you know that song? I'm unfamiliar. What album is that on? Sense of vibe here. It's also off King of the Beach. It's off King of the Beach? Let me see. I just went on this long thing about how we love a final song and then, and then he vetoes it. <laughs> no, I know I'm, I told you it was for dramatic effect. Again, performer, I'm fake on the surface, but my soul is good. You even want to do a list of last songs on a record. I as do a, as a list. I do want to do that at some point. Are you going to let me talk? <laughs> okay, no. Um speak. Let me uh, hold on. Let me let me you said take on the world? Take yes. on the world, yeah. I like this song. That's a I, good place to I actually, too. you know what? I'm happy I vetoed cuz I like this song better than the other song. Oh, nice. Look at us. Lovely. We're getting, we're getting there. How, do you like this song, Shelby? I do like this song. He was crying. I had to let him in. Oh, baby. Um, yeah, I like this song a lot. This song was on my list. Yeah. So, yeah. Fuck yeah. I think it's a good placement for it. I vibe. Mm. Why? Okay. So I know I vetoed the other one, but why this song? Why take on the world? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of got everything that. It's a good representation of waves in general. I think if it was like your first song you heard of them, kind of covers all bases, all like those, like ooze and shit it's got like his vibe you know yeah it's like, a, like last sure. week we talked about the quintessential rancid song is this a quintessential wave song yeah that's what i'd say what, what what'd you pick was the quintessential uh rancid song well i was saying like nihilism is like a quintessential rancid song because it name drops locations it does it has the like nonsensical lyrics it has all the tropes of that band it's also got both of them singing in it yes yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah i hear you yeah that's cool. yeah so, so it, it's, you know, is, is this in a similar category where it's just like the quintessential what they do kind of bit? Totally. I like this song. I'm glad this song's on the list. I'm also glad you vetoed because I wouldn't have been the one to put it there. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't on my list, but it's a rager. Again, I mean, most of my shit is V anyways, with the exception of like three songs. <laughs> so that's where that's where my vibe generally is. But. I mean, King of the Beach is also a really good record. I think King of the Beach is like my second of all of their discog. It's like that and then yeah. the Cloud Nothings and then the rest. We haven't really heard any Afraid of Heights yet. I know. I had oh, a couple. Oh. Of, well, no, I'm gonna. I'm lying. I had like one song off of that album. Same. I, I only have one also. But Ooh, I want to know if we're all in sync. Do you guys think we all pick the same one? No. Mm, I don't know. Wait, let me make sure the one that we'll I see at the end. The one. We'll see at the end. Uh, if if it's not played or if we get into discards, we'll see. Um, I'll do a one two three moment. Do a one two three moment. But but after the game's played, I don't right want anything. Right now, what? No, I'm just no. kidding. It's fine. Come on, buddy. I'm good. So um, <laughs> who has Vito's left? Shelby. Me. I like this song. You though, leave I'm this not... here. Of course. Okay. Um, and unless uh, Trifton's Trifton, Jesus Christ, throwing Whoa. my mouth. Tristan's gonna self veto. I think Trif Trif Trifton is a new one. I've never heard that. Before. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, my, my least favorite in my whole life is Tris. I, I, oh, I what? Yeah. Good to know. I've literally never heard that before. Yeah, that either. is wild. Several times in my life. And it's like, yeah. Tris. That not... sounds like the person that's like trying to be too familiar when they don't know you at all. Oh, yeah. 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 I want... Sounds too close to Briss. 
I once uh, watched a guy that called me Tris uh, eat an entire thing of wasabi at a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, he's, like, check he's like, check this out. He did it, and he's just like, yeah, they're not laugh at him, but it was hilarious. Maybe that's why. That... It sounds like uh, he's got a lot more going on with himself. That gives me the same think... energy as like when someone calls me Shelbs, and I'm like, uh, don't talk yeah. to me. Don't call me that. I'm not, a, I'm not on the beach. Shell? Shell? I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not on the beach, except for I might be. <laughs> that one died in the air. Yeah, you know what? It was pretty cheap uh, run. It was bad, and I'm going to apologize to everybody here for uh, bearing with that. But truly, I'd like to make a formal Wait, apology. Is Tris it is exceptionally bad, though. Tris is bad. I d is, is it T R I S or T R I S T? That, that's what I was saying. That's what I was Trist. <laughs> that, and that's because in my head, I was like, is he calling you Trist? Because that's a like, whole different that's a whole different thing. Um, no, Tris. I think T R I S. T R I S. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah. Got all kinds of shit. People like to go through the Trisket thing, or you know. Oh. It's like <laughs> you think you're so funny calling me Trisket. Fucking hilarious. Well, do you guys? And I found this out. Do you guys know why they're called Triscuits? You did nope. tell me this. Do you want to know? Yes. Yeah, of what? course. It's short for electricity biscuit Whoa. because when they baked it at the turn of the last century, it was the first time they used an oven using electricity and not just fire. So but... they thought it possessed some kind of different uh, atomic like flavor. And so they marketed it as this like new way of cooking snacks. It's electri an electricity biscuit. Why did they call it an electricity then? I think just Triscuit for short. I don't know. See, and that's at that point, that's as much as I know. We are off the fucking rails. But oh, yeah, it was a Twitter thread from like a year ago, so it might be not real because I don't check the sources and I might be spreading misinformation. I really hope that it is an electricity. No, biscuit, but there though. were there were graphics, there were posters from old posters that said electricity biscuit. I, I'm glad I learned that, man. Yeah, thank you for listening. That's gross. <laughs> It's gross. Okay, cool. Sorry. Oh, Thank you for letting me be a menace. We're so, uh, if we're going to leave, take on the world here, yes. which it's, it's, it seems like we are, let's, let's move on to um, Shelby's final pick at number three. Dang. So at this point, I'm just going to pick my number one, which I don't think it's going to end up on the list if I don't pick it, but I could be wrong. Um, but from V, it is My Head Hurts. Ooh, that's a good song. I like that song <laughs> um, because, as I had said earlier in the rep episode, I really like a catchy song. And that's that has everything that a Waves song for me is, which is V mostly because I don't think that it necessarily sounds like a lot of what they do. <laughs> that's true. But for me, yeah. but for me, it's a, I mean, it's a it's a good song. I, I like that it. song. Tristan, do you like that song? I think let's, let's keep it on there for Shelby. I think that's a good reason to, you know. <laughs> that's very sweet. <laughs> the, the, I have no depth. There's nothing behind <laughs> these eyes. It can only get worse if you do veto me. Um, that, those are not my words whatsoever. <laughs> I'm just throwing this Here's out the there issue for is anybody that who may Shelby just always gets bullied on this thing. And that's fine. Uh, mostly because you know her taste is bad. But you oh. know what? And I'm going to say something <laughs> courageous and brave. I'm a very likable person. It's true. Yeah. Completely, hundred percent. Yeah. So, like, yeah. bully me into my out of my music tastes. Just you, you try to put Chicago as burning on lists. Are you done? I'm finished. Every episode. Yeah. Okay. Um, fine. <laughs> so we fine with with keeping my head hurts at number three. That's a vibe. I think it's a good song. I think it's a great song. <laughs> I'm just getting ready to uh, veto Eric over here. <laughs> I know, yeah. I know. You're saving it for the number two spot for Eric. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I love my So we're hurts. fine with leaving this at yeah, three, then. Yeah, I'm down. Shelby's final pick. Shelby's number one, even. I want to okay. highlight that this is her number one. Yeah. All right. Yeah. On her personal list. And if you okay. if you know me at all in the kind of music I like, it definitely tracks. Yeah. It's. I mean, it's a, it's a good song. It's like yeah, one it's of those just song. catchy pop ragers. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah. It's a uh, one of those ones. It just hits all those pop uh, notes. One hundred percent. I am loving for the first time ever having my soul spared, <laughs> so that someone else can take the heat. I, I it's E versus T. Yeah. E T. You what? 
I said I wanted to say something better than that, but that was all I had. You know what? And you did very good. Thank you, Tristan. Thank it's where you find yourself in the middle of talking and you go, oh, God, I've started and now I need to finish yeah. this. <laughs> so where am I going to end up? Um, okay. Let's leave that there. Then we're going to go to number two, Eric's final pick. Yeah. Are you ready for this? No. I'm ready for some wild shit. I'm picking Flameses. Wow. Oh. You How don't do like you that song? That? No, I actually do like that song a lot. F L A M E Z E S Z. <laughs> I know, it's uh, a big deal. So I don't dislike it. It's one of my it's least favorites. Suicide, favorite. uh-huh, the way we walk around. It's yeah, that's, that's a sweet chorus for sure, but check this out. Fucking Vito, right? Oh! <laughs> Oh, whoa. Fucked me up. I can't even. Wait. So I can't even tell if you're just doing this out of spite or if you actually don't like this I think song. that one's spite. No, this is 100% spite. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. We love a spiteful yeah, moment. Yeah, you fit in great here. But, but also, yeah. I, I can't just take my veto at home with me, you know what I mean? You can't. No. Yeah. You got to eat gotta it in the restaurant. It. Gotta drink it before We're you leave. Unafraid to veto. Okay, here. well, in that case, let's just drop yeah. in to my next pick, which is the t- the opener of V. I'm Uh-oh. going heavy metal detox. <laughs> <laughs> Your laugh is so funny. <laughs> it just it is so good. Do you like this song or no? Uh, yeah, it's a cool song. I like, the, I like the name a lot. I think it's a good name. <laughs> the name? It's, great. it's such a good title. Can I be it's chaotic? Good, uh, Are you going to veto? <laughs> no. Oh. But I did want to see your face. <sighs> I'm going to be hard-pressed to veto anything. Um, on that, like I said. But I love. Wow. Happy Metal Detox. What a moment. It's a good song. <laughs> and it's like, I think this was one of, I, because this was my uh, introduction sort of to the band, this mm-hmm. as the first song off of the record probably was the first song I ever heard. I don't really remember clearly. Um, mm-hmm. And for that reason, any time during that year that I was like really into this record, whenever I would put it on, this is the first song and it would like put me right in that good mood. And I'm like, yeah, this is, this is, yeah. this is the vibe. So everyone's got heartfelt things to say. And I think you can't really shit on that, you know? Yeah. It's, it's nice. Um, I was I was going to I was going to say what what do you think about my uh, laugh there? What do you think I'm what I No, I liked it because I know I'm I don't I don't <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, hold on. I need to clarify this. Because so you, you and I like I mean we're obviously friends but like we haven't spent too much time together so I don't know like the way that you communicate like super yeah. duper clearly, but on a surface yeah. level the laugh to me was very like it was like I was in a class. Oh, no. No, it's like I'm in a classroom and I said the wrong answer and the teacher's like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> uh, yeah. you know what I mean? That was the vibe. So that's why I laughed because I think the laugh was just so well executed and um, very pointed and it felt fun to me. Somehow oh, this has been a very ruthless episode. <laughs> that's not Ruth. I'm being. No, 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 this no, is, no. I just mean so- generally. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's hella not what I meant. That's why I wanted to know. What you <laughs> no, but I loved it. I loved I loved the moment itself. It wasn't like a positive or negative. It was just like, this is fun for me. A great yeah. moment. A great it, moment. It is, it is fun. <laughs> <laughs> we love we love a fun moment. Yeah, so Heavy yeah. Metal Detox. It's a rager number two. It's uh, a good song. F- fight me, I guess. Yeah. It's probably not left. what I would have that high on the I probably wouldn't have it that high on the yeah. list. But it's a good song. Yeah. I'm the person left for the veto is Shelby. Uh, Yeah, I'm the only person left, and I'm really banking on vetoing next week twice. So, because I just feel like there's going to be some dumb shit on that list. So, I'm going to keep it. Lock it in. It's locked in. Rage Arena. This plane is taken off. The runway is gone. We're out of (laughs) runway. And Tristan is going to grace us with our number one pick. The best can't canonically. Without dispute, the best wave song. I, I don't think you guys. I don't think you guys are gonna agree with this one, but uh, oh, say wait, say again. I said I don't think you're gonna agree with me, but I, but I, I think this is my favorite wave song. Okay, what is it? Which is it? Already, the song is called Baseball Cards. Hmm. Do, we, do we know this song? I don't think I. This do. is from their second record. 
This is off King of the Beach. This is off King of the Beach? No. Wait. Yeah. Is it? Well, <gasps> okay. I guess I'm just this a fucking an, poser. This is an interesting vibe. Hold on. I'm enjoying the vibe so far. Is that too loud? Can you guys hear it? Yeah. Oh. Tristan, this really... You... This pick really makes sense to me for you to pick. That and that, that's a compliment. That's a huge compliment. Yeah. Um, yeah. That song wasn't on my list, but I, I won't veto I anything like that. Me. I don't know. Like, just hearing those vibes, it like, maybe not so much, like, the earlier Decent Criminal stuff, but, like, definitely your guys' most recent record. I I don't know. Like, vocally, that the, the way that he's singing, at least just from this five seconds that yeah. we just listened to, <laughs> um, I don't know. Something it Something made it make sense to me. It made it make sense. I will not be explaining further. I just did that thing yeah, that Jake was talking I, about. I do th I do think it's cool. Like, <laughs> the more I listen to Waves and the more I listen to, De like, because, I mean, I've been listening to Decent Criminal for a little while now. And, like, it's, it like, the same, like, there's a lot of similar vibes in the Decent Criminal sound that there are in the Wave sound. Well, some of the Wave sound, because some of it's, like, a little bit experimental. And I feel like Decent Criminal is a little bit more locked in. But it it's very, very similar, and I, I love the vibe. You you and I have different takes on this band, and I love it. I feel like yeah. generally I do like the up, poppy, fast, whatever, and you're more of the moody, moody vibe. Yeah, yeah. You can call it moody for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just think there's – I think I've always kind of been drawn to that sort of melancholy. I always think it's beautiful, so this song is uh, – yeah. Just take It takes me back to that to that spot like 10 years ago when i discovered waves i love when you first when you first uh uh what is the, what is the surfing term shit um when you surfed go, no not surf Aaron. but when you when you dive into a wave what is it Cra not crash in do you guys surf nobody surfs <laughs> uh, no never surfed in my life me neither yeah, no. damn come on the ocean what is, is it? scary hold on when I'm you're surf. at at the top oh. of the wave and you drop drop in it's like dropping Drop in on your first wave. Anyways, that wasn't worth it, but it's fine. <laughs> Is that skateboarding? Yeah, but you could just drop in on a half pipe. Yeah, you could drop in on a wave too. Oh, you can? I think so. Oh my god. I'm skeptical. Are you Is looking to see if my bedroom door was <laughs> I'm, open? I'm waiting to see if Aaron's listening <laughs> to skeptical. confirm. I'm skeptical. Aaron. Is he gonna come? We need a guest appearance here. Aaron. No, it's not happening. No, it's not happening. He's probably <laughs> sleeping. Um, I think I think you can drop in on a wave. I think you're right. I hear about surfing every day of my life, mostly. Not every day, but like a lot of the time uh, because Aaron does surf. I feel like, no, you know what? You know what it is? It's yoga with Adrian. That's Drop where in. I hear that term. How, okay. Surfing, I, surfing dash waves.com says how to stand up when you're dropping I saw in. That on there. Dropping. Yeah, but he's obviously a in. newbie to surfing if he can't even stand up when he's, when he's quote unquote dropping in. So but, he, knew he doesn't know the terminology. But if the elementary lexicon includes drop in in its base level, then it's part of surf lingo. I'm Sir? Gonna, I'm gonna not gonna continue this discussion for Okay, that's fine. But I'm gonna say we that maybe I'm, I'm, I'm holding this into question. Baseball cards is a sick song. I'm happy you picked yeah. it. <laughs> that Thank wasn't you. on my list, but I'm happy that something from that record is number one on the list. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, it's cool. I, I really appreciate that about Waves is all those like songs are just like so soundy like that, you know? Yeah. Like you yeah. like, what did you say? Melancholy? I think melancholy is a better word. Like melancholy, moody. It's like, it's so, oh. so just like a, a, like a big fucking, it's like kind of like big, sad, big, happy fucking um, like that song "Don't Worry, Baby" by the Beach Boys. You yeah, that song? I love that song. <laughs> yes, yes. It's like, it's like sad, but it's also just like. Oh, I man. don't think it made the Beach Boys list. It, song. it did. It did. Oh, it did. Okay. It was like yeah, number did. two or something. Yeah, it was I high I up. That, that I mean, that's that was like six months ago. That yeah, song no, fucking Ricky rules. put that song on the list. It's a good yeah. song. Yeah, because Ricky's a smart dude. It, it's a great song. Let's you know before I read off the final list, let's get into some discards here. You guys want to go over <laughs> Tristan? Any songs you picked that didn't make the list? I picked that didn't make the list. Yeah. Yes, uh, a few. Sure. Um, and if you if you want to talk a little bit about them, that's totally fine. There's like a unreleased, or I think it's like you get on YouTube or whatever. But there's an album between like the second album and King of the Beach with like Zach Hill that Nathan Williams did that has a song called Glued on it, which is a really fucking cool album or a really cool song. And um, yeah, if you guys ever want to dig in deeper. 
that's a cool way to check it out. Hmm. Gotta drop in deeper, according to Eric over here. Drop in. I mean, yeah, you gotta drop in. Drop deeper to waves. Uh, yeah. There's a whole gang of songs there that are pretty cool. I mean, true. I mean, really though, like there are three ways you can drop in: on a pipe, on a wave, or in office hours. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> The teacher live again. I'm so into it. That's so funny to me. <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry. Um, yes. I've developed quite the ha type of laugh as I've gotten older. It's <laughs> a very <laughs> defined ha 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 ha. It's a, yeah, it's, it's, it's like yeah. it's a classic. Classic ha. I think it's a, uh, you know that part in Super Bad where they're making fun of that dude's uh, face with his facial hair? <laughs> He looks like Robin Williams' knuckles. That like, <laughs> <laughs> that's like. I feel like that laugh I just gave sounded just like that. Um, what what other songs were on your discards? Um, I had that's on me off of uh, Afraid of Heights. Ooh, that was on my list too. Nice, nice. Um, then my other song I had was so bored off the second record. Mm. Ooh, okay, party time, Eric. Oh, yeah. So I had uh, I had that's on me, and I also I lied. I had two songs from that record. I also had hippies uh, is punks nice. on my list. I thought those were both pretty solid. Um, Come down from the cloud. Nothing split was on my list, but that's also I, I think thinking you're gonna say cloud outlets cloud every Atlas. single time yeah. you start with cloud starring Tom Cruise. I mean, yeah. fucking Tom Hanks. From the Cloud Atlas <laughs> Whoa. soundtrack. No, definitely not the book. Those uh, are two movie. very different Toms. Those are very different Toms. I'm so sorry, everybody. Um, I don't really listen to that album so much, so that's why it's probably, I don't really have much to say about it. Yeah, I thought, I mean, I thought it was pretty solid. Like, that Come Down song's fantastic. And I mean, I know it's lead, it's like a Cloud Nothing's lead song, so that's why I like, when we decided that I did Exit Out, um, not that it matters because I only picked like four songs, but also way too much, Sail to the Sun, was on my list. Uh, That's a good one. Yeah. Tarantula, My Head Hurts, Pony, Post Acid, Flames as Is, and Heavy Metal Detox. That was my Flames. that was my jams. Um, Shelby? I had a... S- <laughs> so, the dumb bro... You're right. This dog is ruining my right. fucking life right now. Let me right see now. the ball. <laughs> <laughs> you, must, you must I have some squeaks going on. Yeah, God he's, damn. He's got that big squeak energy. <laughs> so for fun, and I was going to play it because I thought it might be funny, but I didn't. Um, I want to meet Dave Grohl. <laughs> oh, cool. I that song as well. Um, Did they ever tell you the story about uh, when we were playing that show in Seattle, Jeff and Donnie were outside being like, hey, Dave Grohl's new band is playing inside. Talking about me. Oh, hell yeah. Trying to get people to come into our in, into the Lightweight Cycles Club show. You look like Walmart brand Dave Grohl. Whoa. I do. Yeah, that I was a compliment. Do. Oh, was it? I mean, Walmart is not normally a compliment, but yeah. <laughs> yeah thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> whatever so I stand you know what's it. funny is is uh i think somebody so, so uh in fest friends group on facebook right somebody jokingly called me fest dave girl <laughs> and then i was walking around one day at fest and somebody goes oh shit it's fest dave girl when i was walking by and i was like who the fuck just said that damn <laughs> i feel like okay so in my head i equate that to florida dave girl so that yeah. to me feels very Walmart brand. I would rather you know take what? that That's than fair. Walmart Dave Girl. So thanks. You're That's welcome. There was a guy on Instagram that had the name uh, Budget Dave Girl. I always thought that was pretty good. <laughs> oh fuck! I'm gonna Google that. Western Family Dave Girl. Um. Anyway, I also put Stupid in Love, um, Heart Attack, Nothing Hurts. Uh. Yeah. I had some discards, but I think that at the end of the day, the songs that I really ended up going with. I knew what's. I knew that yeah. I was gonna pick a group of songs, and I knew exactly which ones I was only gonna play. The grip of songs. The grip. The grip of songs. Cool. Um. Well, sick. That was so fun. Cool. Good team. Good job. Good game. Good go game. team. Go team. Good. Go. Yeah. Amazing. Um, <laughs> we really did that. We did it. God damn. God damn, we did it. Okay, Tristan. I do have a question. Since you're more yeah. of a seasoned waves head. <laughs> um, do you think the waves culture, and by that I do mean the fandom, would agree to some degree with this list? Uh, um, yeah, I think it's got everything. Uh, it's got something in there for everyone, you know. Yeah. Is that yeah. is that is that an honest answer? Or is that like a 
<laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest. Yeah. <laughs> Is there something about Tristan that doesn't feel genuine? To no, you? that's not it at all. I like. Yeah. Hey, sweetie, what's up? No, no, I just, I just, I was just, I was seeing if there was another layer there. Got no, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest. Oh, I'm okay, being honest. cool. Yeah, well, I think, I think you know, you, you, you got into him at a different time than I did, and uh, yeah. I did shows. We, we <laughs> makes all the difference. We love him for different reasons. That's true. Yeah. yeah. And at the end of the day, that kind of uniqueness is what uh, what we learn to grow. Oh, we used to grow. It's growth. Oh, that's, it's synergy and that growth. Was, that was clumsy. <gasps> that was clumsy. I'm sorry. <laughs> My apologies to the... Um, so uh, before we go over the list the final time, we want to say to uh, pre-order the new Decent Criminal EP from <laughs> Sell the Heart Records. If you're listening yep. to it, it, this it's Monday, and it's out on Friday... Yeah. Go listen to Decent Criminal. It comes out on Monday? Yeah, this yes. will be out on Monday. Okay, sweet. Also, just go listen to the whole back catalog of Decent Criminal. That yeah. band fucking rules. It's true. It's Thanks, guys. True. So just listen to the whole thing, including the newest release. I will have you know release. that um, Sean Hills offered us a show with a uh, with a pretty big band. He said, you can either play with them or Decent Criminal. And, we, and Lightweight said Decent Criminal instead. Because <gasps> we nope. wanted to... Because... Uh, we love Decent Criminal so much. You, you guys, uh, you guys were tight that night. Uh, that was Thank you. Show. Thank you very much. That was a fun um, first time we tried to play Bleach, and I feel like we totally fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it crazy how, as a performer, you remember every moment that you fucked yeah, up, completely. every single yeah. moment and time that you fucked up. Yep, that's all. I love it. Uh, you and you're just like halfway through, it's like holy shit, this is grueling right now. Yeah. <laughs> And it lasts three years for some reason. Yeah, yeah. totally. So we haven't played that song live since. And uh, but yeah, so this EP comes out next Friday. Pretty pumps. And then um, we uh, we got like a whole nother record we're gonna record here pretty soon. So hell yeah! Pretty- oh, I can't wait oh to yeah. Hear it. Do you have yeah. a, Do you have a tentative date of release for that? Like by end of year or top of next year? Um, I don't think we're gonna record till summer. So oh, okay. Probably probably early year, hopefully. Hell yeah! Sweet. Yeah. Party yeah. time, excellent. And in case anybody was wondering, lousy advice, we are a band. Yeah, we're a band. Listen lousy to us. Lousy advice is a band. We're a good band. This is our hobby. Jake, we are a band. Jake, don't say it so sad. You love, this, you love playing in the band with us. Send us your bass parts to our demos and stuff. I know. I need to, <laughs> Get I need inspired. To the bass part for the new song. It's fine. Get inspired. We're also demoing the new lightweight record at the same time right now. It's a mess. It's fine. We care about Sad Girls Club more right now, too. <laughs> it's a good time. It's a mess. It's we're a great a, time we're in our lives. We're having a good time. Really? Jake, do you want to well, outro so, us? Finally, to outro the episode, the final list. Number 11, Idiot. Number 10, Daisy. Number 9, Tarantula. Number 8, Way Too Much. Number 7, Weed Demon. Number 6, <laughs> Green Eyes. Number 5, Post Acid. Number four, take on the world. Number three, my head hurts. Number two, heavy metal detox. And the number one, canonically best <laughs> wave song, baseball cards. Nice. Shout out. This has been the Lousy Advice Podcast. Rate and review and subscribe. Check out our shit Check on out- the Nostalgia Network. That's what I was about to say. Are you going to say that? <laughs> yeah, go to yes. it. It's our, it's our network site. It's real cute. Um, thank you for listening and thank you, Tristan, for hanging out with us and thank uh you. just giggle, you, giggling this beautiful little Friday night away. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you for having me over, guys. Yeah, of course. Um, should I stop recording? Is stop. that wild? Is that crazy? Is that wild? Am I gonna crazy? stop it, it right now? Jay, can you do the can you do the veto thing again? Yeah, yeah, sweet. Wish <laughs> oh, a wrong one. Wrong one. <laughs> 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 Honestly, that mistake was perfect. I'm gonna hang this up now. <laughs> Thank you. This podcast has been brought to you by the Nostalgia Network. Visit the Nostalgia Network.com for more.